When you think Attitude Era, you think Stone Cold. The following contest is a submission match. Making his way to the ring from Victoria, Texas, weighing in at 252 pounds, Stone Cold. Hey, Stone Cold Steve, Steve Austin, Austin does what he wants, when he wants, and guys, it's paid off for him. Stone Cold Steve Austin is a six-time WWE Champion. The Texas Rattlesnake has arrived, and this building is about to be unglued. There is no one who can elicit a response quite like Stone Cold Steve Austin. the excellence of execution. And his opponent from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing in at 235 pounds, Brett the Hitman Hart. I gotta say, guys, it is an absolute honor to be here ringside to call a match featuring the excellence of of execution. How funny it is to hear you change your tune, Saxton. You've been complaining about the Hitman's attitude recently, and I think it's ridiculous. The only thing you've ever excelled at is being subpar. I have the utmost respect for Bret Hart, but I don't appreciate the fact that he seems to not believe that people still respect him the way they have over the last 10 years. And remember, submissions only as we get underway here. I assure you, making one of these competitors quit will be easier said than done. Ooh, what an there. uppercut! Ooh, what an there. uppercut! And a knee stop! That'll ruin your leg. In a submission match, the name of the game is to make your opponent tap out from a submission move. There have been so many submission specialists throughout the history of this great business. Brett Hitman Hart, Kurt Angle, Brock Lesnar, William Regal, and Daniel Bryan are a few who come to mind. And on the women's side, I think about Alundra Blaze, Natalya, Becky Lynch, Charlotte Flair, and the boss, Sasha Banks. Corey, earlier you spoke about a submission match, and one thing I'd like to point out is that a submission match is not necessarily the same as an I quit match. The key difference is that a submission match requires the use of a submission maneuver. In an I quit match, victory can be achieved by bringing your opponent to the point where they quit as a result of the overall punishment they've received in the match. That's an important distinction, Michael, especially since a superstar can win an I quit match by using the submission maneuver. For superstars who aren't proficient in submission moves, they enter this type of match at a disadvantage. It doesn't mean they can't win, but they need to perfect applying the submission move quickly. Come on, Corey, try and keep up. If there's one matchup that keeps the pen that writes the pages of history flowing from edge to edge, it's Stone Cold Steve Austin versus The Rock. WrestleMania 19 represented the third time an Austin versus Rock battle main event at a WrestleMania. If time has taught us anything, it's that the Texas Rattlesnake despises rules. Anyone named McMahon in Brahma Bulls. Steve Austin and The Rock were rivals from the moment they crossed paths. These men battled for the WWE Intercontinental Championship and the richest prize in our business, the WWE title. The Whoa, he gets out of it. He's at another level right now, Michael. Wow, talk about knowing where you're at at all times. Stone Cold Steve Austin cut his teeth in the rings of Dallas and Memphis before landing in WCW. As stunning Steve Austin, he was a Hollywood blonde and feared as a television and United States champion. 
Before long, Austin was in the land of extreme. ECW. Before and he breaks free just when you thought he was out of this one. Steve Austin with good timing here. Steve Austin changed the face of sports entertainment forever when Austin defeated Jake the Snake Roberts at the 1996 King of the Ring and launched the phenomenon known as Austin 316. No one had any idea what was about to happen. Stone Cold Steve Austin turned WWE on its ear and took on the likes of Bret the Hitman Hart, Mr. McMahon, The Undertaker, and The Rock while handing out Stone Cold Stunners and drinking Steve Weisers. Austin's a decorated WWE Champion, Intercontinental Champion, and World Tag Team Champion with different partners. When we talk about submission matches, we have to speak about one that, in many people's eyes, set the standard. It was WrestleMania 13. Bret the Hitman Hart was in a heated rivalry with a brash star on the rise named Stone Cold Steve Austin. This match started like no other submission match with the two superstars battling in the... He fights his way free, but how much energy did he exhaust fighting his way out? Byron, you mentioned the submission match between Bret Hart and Steve Austin at WrestleMania 13. The rivalry between the Hitman and Stone Cold was so intense that WWE had no choice but to appoint mixed martial arts champion Ken Shamrock as a special guest referee. The Hitman didn't waste any time focusing his assault on Austin's injured knee. Steve Austin was busted open, and in the ringside area, it looked like a tornado went through. Once locked in the sharpshooter, Austin refused to give up. Stone Cold passed out due to the excruciating pain, which was considered a submission, giving the Hitman the victory. If it's not the greatest match of all time, it's certainly in the discussion. The WWE Universe witnessed a classic submission match at 2016's Extreme Rules event. The Queen, Charlotte Flair, defended her women's championship against Natalya. One thing I thought was unfair about the match is that there was a ban against the Nature Boy Ric Flair being at ringside. If Flair appeared, Charlotte would lose the match and her women's crown. Before you spoke of the submission match between Charlotte Flair and Natalya, and I need to point out that this match was not Flair's figure eight versus Natalya's sharpshooter. Victory could be achieved by making your opponent tap out to any submission maneuver. I think we all know why the Nature Boy was banned from ringside. When Natalya had Charlotte locked in the sharpshooter, it seemed that the Queen of Hearts was going to be crowned the new champion. Of course, that was until Dana Brooke distracted Natty, giving Charlotte the opening to lock on the figure eight and force Natalya to submit. It wouldn't be a flare match without a little bit of controversy, would it? After years of struggling to make an impact in WWE, Steve Austin finally broke through at the 1996 King of the Ring. Austin was about to unleash something no one had ever seen before. Back in from the floor. Talking about Stone Cold Steve Austin at the King of the Ring, Byron. After Austin won the tournament, he proclaimed the birth of Austin 316. His anger produced the fuel that drove the Austin Revolution and ushered the Attitude Era. And he escapes the submission. And good thing, that could have been disastrous. One of the things a superstar who's competing in a submission match has to be careful of is if they have an injury or have been injured in the past and people know about it. You can bet in a submission match that your opponent is going to target that body part immediately. It's like having a giant bullseye on an arm, leg, ankle, or shoulder. And there's the reversal for Bret Hart. Byron, you brought up that a submission match can be especially dangerous for a competitor who's injured or had a known injury. I think that's why it's just as important as submission match to be able to reverse the submission move from an opponent as it is to apply a submission maneuver to an opponent. If a superstar can't reverse an opponent's submission, then they're certainly going to be in trouble. Some superstars have more than one submission at their disposal and it becomes a pick-your-poison scenario for their opponent. It also depends on the match. Some submission matches are based on winning via a submission move, and others involve a competitor having to use the specific submission they've chosen. Uh -oh. Carefully measured. He's too quick for him there. And that one grounds him. I didn't realize he had such a glass jaw.
no reverses it. And Bret Hart slips out of harm's way. So quick. Looks like he has other plans here. I think he was just looking to soften him up a little here. Oh, no. Inverted atomic drop. Stone Cold is in bad shape right now. There may be no coming back from this. Well, on the plus side, he's not the only one in that ring struggling for air right now. Unleashing it for the second time now. Oh, somehow he breaks it. He may have broken free coal, but I assure you the damage has already been done. Slammed him with ease. Just an unforgiving slam. Stone Cold with that Texas charm on full display. These athletes seem to have tried everything in their playbook. Oh, there's more in their arsenal, I promise you that. I don't know what it is, but they'll find it. Back now inside the ring. And Steve Austin too quick that time. I'm not so sure the body's supposed to absorb that type of impact. Both of these superstars looking a little worse for wear right now. Bret Hart knows what he's doing. If it was me, I would not be taunting anybody right now. Give him there before. Nice job breaking out of that one. There's plenty more work for him to do here. Chaos, melee, pandemonium. And the hitman coming. He gets it with a reversal. The Texas Rattlesnake is all business tonight. Oh man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. Bret Hart with a nice reversal. And Steve Austin too quick that time. At this point, it looks like even the winner of this match will walk out of here beaten and battered. And just like that, this move is leading the charge. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. And Bret Hart slips out of harm's way so quick. That'll cause some serious physical pain. Steve Austin doing a great job of turning that around. He's making a statement here with this attack. Oh, he goes down hard. Yeah, he's definitely starting to fade now. Ooh. 
In WWE, there's as much chaos outside the ring as there is inside the ring. Try working with Saxton at ringside. He may have discovered his favorite move. Looks like both these superstars have found that little extra something to keep themselves going here tonight. Both of these superstars looking a little worse for wear right now. And he fights his way free. He's got to be working on instinct right now, Cole. Devastating damage to the upper vertebrae. No, it's not over yet. Wow, part of me thought he was going to tap, Cole. Oh, he's such a tough target. Oh, he turns it around. He's just so dominant. Bringing it back into the ring. performance. Come on, Bret Hart, you can do this. Steve Austin, stunner! Stone Cold with a stunner! That's what he was looking for, Michael. Bret Hart's just getting overwhelmed. Gotta figure something out. And Bret Hart slips out of harm's way so quick. And Bret Hart slips out of harm's way so quick. We're witnessing a level of punishment that can only be described as severe. Game, set, match. This one is over. And he finds a way free. Wow. That was just pure determination, Cole. Again. Wow! One of these competitors is eventually going to have to gain the upper hand, right? Knocked off his feet. Now that's a takedown. Red Hart with the, the Hitman has the sharpshooter cinched in. Excellently executed. Here's his moment, Michael. It's in. He got him to tap 